Hello there. My name is Zachary Klein. I'm a rising senior at Susquehanna University, and I'm here today to present the Drift Fence Hypothesis, testing an adaptive function for projectile directional defecation in the Persaud spider, Adipus carcii. The Persaud spider, Adipus carcii, is an atypical tarantula that lives inside vertical silk tubes made up of their webbing. These tubes extend both above and below the ground. Prey that contact the tube are bitten and then pulled inside without the spider ever needing to exit their web. Since the spider rarely leaves these tubes and may live for up to a decade, we investigated how these spiders may increase prey contact with the web and how they adapted their unique excretal habits to accommodate a more sessile foraging method. Under laboratory conditions, we documented spider excretion frequency, distance, and pattern around their tubes. Although spiders occasionally exited their tubes, almost all of them excreted by projectile defecating via the top of their web about every 36 hours. Maximum ejection distances reached approximately 40 body lengths, which is over half a meter from the tube. Spiders also ballistically produced linear or V-shaped excreta patterns along vectors, extending an average of 14 centimeters from the web, but sometimes reaching over 50 centimeters long. Excretions showed strong directional bias, both on the individual and population level. Spiders with their webs against a vertical wall defecated significantly more in a single direction opposite the wall. When placed at the center of a large circular arena without walls, they showed strong and significant bidirectional defecation patterns, creating a line through the diameter of the arena. We hypothesized that such linear excreta patterns function as a drift fence trap for prey. If this is the case, small ground arthropods should avoid or walk along these excreta lines rather than through them, increasing the probability of excreta adverse prey contacting the web. We tested the, the drift fence hypothesis with female Pardosa milvina wolf spiders. Individual Pardosa were placed inside the circular arena superimposed over a purse of excreta line and measured prey avoidance for excreta and the propensity of prey to walk along rather than through the spider excreta deposits. We found Pardosa milvina spent significantly more time on the side with the excreta, traveled greater distances on the side without excreta, and avoided areas with excreta. This indicates higher freeze response and possible redirected movements when detecting excreta. Pardosa showed excreta-mediated behavioral changes, suggesting some support for the projectile defecation functioning as a capture drift fence. We are currently testing other prey types, such as wood lice, and contact frequency with the center of an arena with and without the presence of purse web excreta.